1080 versus 4K. Is it just fancy marketing or is there a real practical difference? And if there is, is that difference enough for us to keep shooting 4K? Let's check it out, shall we? Hey fam, my kapatid, welcome back to another video. Today we're comparing four different cameras in 4K and 1080 and factoring in the practical ways that we can use either or both resolutions for our workflow. First up is an everyday camera for most, the iPhone. This one is specifically the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Right off the bat, the images look pretty similar. However, when we zoom into 200%, I noticed that there was more noise in 1080 than 4K, but in real world use, it's negligible. Next up is a beginner to intermediate camera for the average consumer, the Sony a6400. Rumor has it that this camera is softer in 1080p than in 4K. And without even zooming in, you can already see the difference. Here we are at 200% and the softness in 1080p is confirmed. So if you've got the storage space for it, I recommend shooting 4K all the way. Here's a different camera, the Sony FS5 Mark I, a run and gun cinema style camera that has been said to have softer 4K than 1080p. So when I film with focus peaking, I have noticed that my lines are less visible in 4K than in 1080p, which gives me the impression that 1080p may be sharper. But when looking at this footage, if there is a difference, it is negligible. The 1080p footage is also scaled up to 4K for this video, so it's surprising that you can actually get away with 1080p footage upscaled to 4K, right? Last but not least, my latest and favorite camera, the Sony FX30, which has been rumored to also be softer in 1080p than in 4K. Looking at the footage side by side, the softness is similar to the A6400. At 200%, we can see more noise and softness in the 1080p footage compared to the 4K. Although 1080 is sufficient for making YouTube videos, I opt for 4K for most of my footage, just for flexibility, having a sharper image, and being able to punch into my videos without losing much quality. Perhaps 1080 from a full frame camera would be much nicer, but for someone like me who's shooting APS-C nowadays, or Super 35, 4K is the way. But 4K is not for every content creator because of two big reasons. Number one is file sizes, which can be large for your hard drives over time. I bought eight terabytes yearly for three years because my photos and videos would accumulate that much that quickly. Today, I have an eight bay hard drive enclosure with 70 terabytes, that's right, seven zero terabytes of usable storage to accommodate that old footage. Number two, the 4K workflow. It can slow you down, especially if you're working with laptops that are not M1 Max or even if you're just using older PCs. Perhaps you may get away with using DaVinci Resolve. That software alone helps with this 4K workflow, but I don't have personal experience to back that part up. With these things considered, when you deal with these problems long enough, you'll test your love for video real fast. So you think you love video, but will you still love it in a 4K workflow? Please share down below in the comments what camera and resolution are you filming in? If you want the best possible image, go with 4K if you're shooting with your Sony APS-C cameras. Fortunately, you'll still be able to get away with 1080p from your iPhone, and if you have this cinema type camera like the Sony FS5, you'll be good with that as well. But if you can't stomach the 4K until you can upgrade your computer and hard drive space, just keep on filming in 1080p. Don't stop practicing what you love and capturing what's important just because of resolution. In the meantime, is it worth getting a drone? Click over here to find out or check out my 8 bay hard drive enclosure right over here. Thanks again for watching. Now go out there and shoot for the life that matters. See ya.